Hi guys, Pete here with you today and I wanted to give you five tips to improve your meditation through using advanced brain state. So I'll break down step by step things you can implement and ways in which you can actively use a meditative state or even get into it if you're having trouble, so stay tuned. So guys, on this particular video, I really want to break down how you can learn to meditate better or faster, but then I also I want to talk active use of the meditative state rather than just sitting passively, the active use of advanced brain states. Look, initially we're talking about using the alpha and the theta levels of the brain to have a lot of focus, to have clarity of thought, tap into creativity, get amazing ideas. As you learn to get better at that and you master yourself and your mind, you'll be able to learn as you get better at this to get your brain up into gamma, the highest level, where you're getting downloads, you're getting spontaneous feelings of bliss move through you, kundalini rising, levels of energy that are just off the chart, and you can get yourself to those places which seem like often so far beyond. So people have spent many, many years working on themselves to get to that level. You can learn how to do that very quickly through having the correct foundation. So the foundation is our brain operates on five different levels of electrical activity. Two are sleep levels. Delta is the deepest coma, deep sleep level, right? Next level is theta, you go into theta the most at night while you're asleep, but also in deep meditation, you can access the theta level. In the day, we're in beta for 90% of the day. So beta is your level of stress and tension and negative thinking and worry, but it's also the action level. You process, make a plan, follow it, keep the team on track, that's beta. And every now and then we slip into alpha. And when we slip into alpha, things are no longer by force, they're more with flow. You get that amazing roll of ideas. Have you ever sat there and been writing an email or uh, are doing a report or something and it's just like all these ideas are flowing out of you and you get that spontaneous flow? Or if you've ever been doing something you love and you've stopped and had a look at your watch and thought to yourself, oh wow, it's been an hour, but it only felt like 10 or 15 minutes, that was alpha. So tip number one, when you're learning to meditate, you're learning how to switch beta off and get your brain down into alpha. So if you can have a methodology for doing this, it works way better. So a lot of people use a mantra or people might go to YouTube and put on some alpha frequencies, some binaural beats, something of that nature, relaxation music, and it's been shown certain types of classical music, Baroque with a Largo rhythm is shown to stimulate the alpha level. So there's different ways you can get into alpha. In our advanced brain states course, I teach you a method of using the seven colors and stimulating your chakras and going up through the colors from the most dense, from your red chakra, all the way up to the crown chakra. And as you focus on each color of the rainbow and you stimulate those energy centers in your body, you also raise your vibration and through the methodology that we teach you, get your brain into the alpha state. After you work through the fundamentals a few times, your brain learns to associate the mental experience of the colors with being in alpha. So the colors become mental triggers that you can use. So step one, meditation really equals alpha. Step two, by using the methodology the same each time, your brain will learn to associate that methodology with alpha so you can get into alpha faster. Step three is to then actively use your alpha through using different techniques, tools, and mental triggers to reprogram your mind. We build this thing that we call the workshop of the mind. It's like a mental workroom or an inner temple. It's like somewhere at a mental level you can go to 
where you can actively work on that project or come up with a plan to organize a family to go on that vacation or that holiday or a way to you to work on some sort of misunderstanding or conflict that you've got going on at work or something like that. So it's like a way of actively using alpha to brainstorm, to come up with an idea, to find a solution. And we actually create this mental workroom in alpha in your mind and it's like real and it's in your consciousness. So it's got a, a table and chairs and it's a way to use your inner levels, use the energy of your chakras and also start to ch download and tap into your intuition, get downloads from your higher self, get wisdom and understanding and things which logically when you're in beta, you might be able to tap into, but you are able to use when your brain is in alpha. So step three, the workshop of the mind is absolutely brilliant. Step four, for using your brain and being in alpha that you can work on. So you've got your binaural beats on, you go down through your colors, take yourself into a mental workroom. If is at any stage you find your mind wanders. In other words, you get distracted. My top tip for that is probably you are going too slow. And often people in the beginning, it's almost like they try too hard because they really want to you know, get into alpha. So they take their deep breaths and imagine dropping away the stress and the tension. And if they delay too long going through their steps, their mind can wander and they feel like they've wrecked the whole thing. That is not the case. If you have random thoughts come in, observe and ignore. Observe them and ignore. Just move them to the side and keep yourself continuing with the activity and your brain will take you back on track. See, the mind is sometimes like an undisciplined dog. In the beginning, it's still learning to kind of follow instructions and it's pulling on the lead and it doesn't sit when it's told to. After a while though, it, it'll follow when you tell it to walk, it'll sit when you tell it to sit and your mind will learn to slow down when you go down through your colors. Focus and get creative when you go in your mental workroom. You'll be learning to deliberately get the best out of yourself. So if you get distracted, don't worry about that. The last tip that I would say is that it has been shown, and you might have heard this before, that it can take 21 days to form a new habit, a new pattern in the brain. Have you heard of that before? 21 days to form a new habit? Well, just like you can double your memory when your brain's down in alpha, you can approximately halve the time that it takes to put a new pattern or program into your brain when you're using the alpha level. So when I talk study techniques or confidence techniques for presentation, speaking, job interviews, when we talk techniques of using alpha for improving your sporting ability, what people find is often they, if they use alpha somewhere around seven to 10 times for exactly the same thing, their ability to get that result starts to move over to the automatic. So in the beginning, whenever I had to do a presentation and walk out on stage in front of people, I would have all my mental triggers ready. I'd be mentally prepared and I'd set it all up in alpha. Now I can walk out there and I can be in the zone and I can speak like I'm speaking to you, finding the right word at the right time without it needing to be cut and edited and spliced in. The clarity of thought comes naturally. And if anyone can do something once in life, they can do it again deliberately. And you've probably amazed yourself at the ability that you've got inside from time to time. This is a way of doing it quite deliberately. So if you'd like to learn more, I've got a free ebook talking more about advanced brain states. I've also done a webinar that goes for about an hour talking about what we do. We've got a whole course written on how you can learn to use advanced brain states to tap alpha whenever you like and then use it for your health, for your business, for your studies, to actually find ways to draw qualities out of yourself, more creativity, more self-confidence, and then also how to use it for what our company is really about, which is awakening. How to actually learn to clear away your emotional baggage, clean thy vessel, and learn to be the best version of yourself. Find your purpose and your clarity of intention behind why we're here, born into this earth in the first place, and how to really live in the moment so you've got more excitement and joy and you actually just have a life that you're proud of. I mean, if at the end of it, you were to look back over it, you want to live with no regrets. They say no one ever sits there at the end of their life and wishes they had to spent more time in the office. 
So if you're sitting there doing something in your life that you're not happy with, now is the time to change it around through learning how to use your brain more effectively. If you want to reach out to me, if you'd love to get a strategy call or have a chat with us more, we're here to help. We're going to be on your side, building a community and a whole team of support to help people get the foundation right, which is learning to use your brain through advanced brain states, and then move this over to awakening education, where you learn how to wake up and tap into the enormous power and potential that lies within, but is also out there for us to access at will when we learn how to get ourselves right. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please send me a message if you enjoyed it. Reach out. I always love hearing from you and I'll be back in tune with you really soon with another video. Bye.